Hey guys, in this tutorial, I am going to talk about notifications. So I am going to show you how to send a basic notification. So let's get started. I have just created a new project and I am going to select this hello world text view and I am going to hit delete button and I am going to show you what I want to create. So I have created this uh, demo application. So if I put something in these fields, for example, and when I click on send email, you will get notification like this. Email from DG, that is the from value and this is the subject. So when you click on that, it will open up this activity again. So I'm going to show you how to create this and you can use it the way you want. So let's get started. Uh, so after deleting the hello world text view, I'm going to put uh, one text view, large text, and I'm going to say two. And we don't need to assign any ID to it because we don't need it. Or we are not going to change the value. And after that, I'm going to put a text field, plain text field, and I'm going to increase the width and double click and set the id tf for text field um, 2 and again i'm going to get one more large text and here i'm going to say from and again one more plain text field and i'm going to increase the width and double click and for the id tf from and just repeat it. I'm going to put the subject here. And again, I'm going to get one more text field here. Increase the width. Assign ID, PF subject. And one more text field for the actual message. and plain text increase the width and if you want to increase the height here change the value to like 50 dp or 100 dp like this and double click on it and assign id tf message and we need a button so when the user will click on this button, he will get notification for a new email. The send email button and for ID, B for button, send email. And for the button, I am going to also assign on click value. So here find on click parameter and make the value send email. So our layout is basically done. Now we are going to work on the Java part. So open main activity dot Java and by default there are these on create options menu on options item selected. So I'm going to remove these methods because we are not going to work with menus now. So we don't need them. And here I'm going to create a variable so notification compact dot builder and we need to import it so just hit alt enter and here builder notification the name of the variable is notification and this is the class name and i'm going to use one more variable private static final int unique id is equal to just put any random integer value. So I'm going to put th this value here. Whatever value you want. And after that, in the onCreate method, here we have just declared it. Now we are going to create a new variable, a new object. So write notification equals new 
notification compact dot builder and here we need to pass context so you can pass this or you can also write main activity dot this because that is the class name dot this and after this we are going to write notification that is the variable name dot set auto cancel and here pass true so what this uh, statement is going to do is when you select when you get a notification and when you will click on that notification it should go away so it shouldn't be there if you put uh, if you forgot to add this statement then the notification will be there even if you click on it even if you are done with it so that's why we need this statement and after that we are going to create the send email method that is the on click value we have assigned for the button so it should be exactly equal to this so write public void void is the return type and send email that is the method name and here pass view p and again we need to import this class so just hit alt enter and it will get imported here and after that write if v dot get id equals r dot id dot the button id that is b send email then we are going to perform whatever we, we will write in these para, uh, parentheses so now what we are going to do is we are going to take all the values from all these one two three four uh, text fields so for that i'm going to create the text fields in the on create method only and i'm going to declare them here so edit text we use edit text for text fields so i'm going to write to from subject and message and again we need to import it so just hit alt enter and it will get imported here and we are going to create a variable that is we are going to assign this to the id of that to this variable so like two equals edit text find view by id r dot id dot pf and I want to just copy this and paste it four times and just replace it to from and here tf from here tf subject here subject message and tf message now we can use them here so we are going to convert these variables or uh, these edit text variables to string values so write string to str just for two string is equal to two that is the variable name dot get text dot to string to string is method which converts uh, text to string so write t string from str from string from dot get text dot to string then again string subject str is equal to subject dot get text dot to string and last one is string message str equals message dot get text dot to string and now we can start the notification part so uh, we need one icon for the notification so I'm going to use one icon so I'm going to use this icon just uh, I'm going to use this one my TA logo uh, I'm going to just copy it from here and in the RES uh, there is a drawable folder and I'm going to select it and right click on it and click on paste and here you can change the name so I'm going to write logo and hit ok actually we need a PNG file so I'm going to look 
if we have a png yeah this one is png so i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to paste it in the drawable folder and here i'm going to change it to logo and here write notification that is the variable name notification dot set small icon and here write r dot drawable dot the uh, name of the image the so logo since it is in the drawable folder it is r dot drawable dot logo 